Granny Smith apples, it's time. They're great. And you're going to give a great tip on the Granny Smith apples. I am. So we're using Granny Smith apples today in our beautiful side dish. But the thing about Granny Smith apples and why I love to cook with them is they have a very nice tart flavor and they hold up very well to cooking. So when you do see your Granny Smith apples in the market, make sure they have this beautiful, nice, light, sort of lime green to them. You want them to be pretty shiny, very heavy for their size, and make sure with all apples, the stem is still attached. That's important for the freshness. And then also smell the stem. Smell right here. It should smell nice and fresh like apples. When you bring them home tip. in your refrigerator. So we did here. I'm, I love your tips. Well, thank you. I really do. I've so, been doing tips for 20 years. Those <laughs> tips are fantastic. What we did here was first we sweated the leeks in a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Very, very thinly. And then once those were sort of sweated out, the sugar started coming out. They started getting nice and sweet. We added in some butter and some of those beautiful Granny Smith apples, which gives it a nice tart balance, again, like I said, with these apples. Uh -huh. And this dish right here, it's such a, a strange combination when you think leeks and apples, but they just work magically together. Look at the colors of this, Steph. And all the flavors, you got a little, you got, and you got different textures going on together, right? Different textures, of course. It's also why you want to add in the apple second, uh -huh. so they keep that firmness and that crunchy. And then this is actually my favorite thing ever to put on top of some pork. Beautiful. Yeah. There you go, pork chops with apples and leeks. That sounds like a good thing. I want to go buy some pork chops right now. <laughs> Thank you, Bella. We're halfway through. Beautiful.